Going back up against Notre Dame again, what did you, what, what did you learn to say from the first game that can apply to this game going on the road? Um, did I think, you yeah, from watching um, the film after the game, um, I think they're an outside uh, perimeter team. They like to shoot a lot of threes. Um, so I think our advantage would be to go inside more, um, work through Tanya, let them create from out the post. Um, to our grace, uh, last last game, um, the big fellow was in foul trouble, so we kind of had an advantage. But um, after watching film, I think that we need to go inside more on them and you know contest all their threes and play our game. Were you guys a little surprised to see how their last game went against Florida State, or was it one of those just that's life in the ACC kind of moments? Um, kind of those one of those life in the ACC moments. People will probably look at our game versus you know, um, NC State and say the same thing. So um, I expect them to come out and play well and play hard at home. So. How confident is this team going into March and why? I think we're feeling very good. Things are clicking at the right time. We're definitely hitting our stride right now, and everybody's very confident and playing very well together. Corey, how about you? What are your thoughts on that? Um, everybody knows we're, we're right there. <laughs> Um, two more games, regular season, then the tournament, then another tournament. So everybody has that mindset to finish strong. Um, even after the, the bad loss at UNC, we're still the chasers. We still call ourselves that. So um, we have a lot of self-motivation and um, just got to finish strong within these two next games. Maybe you take a re reaction late Saturday night when you saw that North Carolina scored and saw that they had lost to put you in the tunnel. Was there talk or any kind of reaction to that, that you were back in first place? Uh, I think everybody was kind of waiting for that to happen. <laughs> so uh, now all we have to do is just do our part. You know, we got an, another blessing. We just we can't ask for any more favors. We just got to do what we have to do on our end. What about the challenge of, of going on the road to finish out the season, um, the regular season, obviously? Is that kind of almost like almost like a little mini training camp in a way to get ready for the ACC and the NCAA tournament? Because you're, it's going to be very focused on basketball, you know, not having all the distractions and things mm -hmm. at home. Well, definitely. Um, I think even with last year's team, I think um, they were, were better on the road. Um, but this year, we actually been OK on the road. So I think um, just these next two games comes down to leadership. Um, Everybody knowing their role, everybody sticking together, executing the game plan. And we know on the road the environment could be very different, but you know, that's why we have different leaders and, and, and different guys that do different things on the court. So um, I think we have a veteran team, so playing on the road wouldn't, wouldn't hurt us at all. Hey, how, does, how does your game change, if at all, uh, with Angel Loud and you, know, you playing? More minutes, obviously. I mean, you're going out. Um, just how does how does your game change? Your role change at all? Uh.